Hey everyone, my name is Murphy and this is Murphy's Law, the series where if anything that can go wrong, I can solve. Today, we're diving into a program called Laser GRBL. This is a really popular G-code software for Windows to use for laser engraving. Now you should really only use this program on the K40 Plus because the code format is different compared to the other lasers. In other words, this program will not work with our larger format lasers like our Polar, our Fiber Markers, and cabinet style CO2s. Today, I'll be guiding you through the basics. Things like how to connect to the machine, how to import a file, how to set up your graphic, how to frame, and how to start. By the end of this tutorial, you should have a finished product that looks something like this. Now keep in mind that your material and laser settings might vary, which can lead to different results. However, this should give you a solid foundation for using this software effectively. Before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about our products or have any issues with your laser, drop a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, so today we're gonna get into learning how to use laser GRBL. So the first thing we're gonna do is open the software and this is what it should look like once you open it. I have the latest version, so yours might look a little bit different, but that's okay. The first thing we're gonna do is go up to the top left corner here and click on the GRBL button. Now, and then we're gonna click connect. Now make sure your machine is on and connected with a USB cable and it should connect just like this. Now down here at the bottom, it'll say idle. The next thing we're gonna do is go up here to file and open file and give that a sec and we're gonna pick our file from our list of graphics here I'm gonna click on this one Omtech logo PNG file and open once we do that we're gonna go into the import raster image box now I had these preset but this is where you pick basically the uh, tracing mode or the engraving mode. I'm gonna leave mine on line to line tracing. Direction is horizontal engraving motion. And the quality, lines per millimeter, this is basically your lines, your lines per inch or your intervals. So we're gonna hit next. And target image box, this is going to be your speed and power settings. So notice the engraving speeds are millimeters per minute. Mine is 8,000 right now, which is roughly about 100 or a little more than 100 millimeters per second. I'm gonna leave mine on laser mode dynamic power, but you could also do constant. These are your power settings. So if you put 400 in here, for example, that's actually just 40.0, so it's 40%. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that at 300 for 30% power and leave my min at zero. And this is your scaling, your width and your height. I'm gonna leave this at about 80 millimeters. That's roughly about, it's a little over three inches, I think, but we're gonna leave that alone and hit create. If you want to pause the video at this time to catch up, go ahead and do so. And then we'll pick it up uh, right after the pause. So now that we have our graphic here in our virtual workspace, the first thing I'm gonna do is home my laser because I'm looking at it and it looks like my laser head is not in the home position. So just making sure to rehome that so that my machine knows where it's at. Now I'm going to position my laser head where I want to engrave. And in order to do so, we have to use these arrows to move the head around. So looking at my machine, my material's a little off to the right, so I'm gonna move it over and bring it down a bit. And after I have it in position, I'm gonna set a zero point or an origin position, and then I'm going to frame it using the frame button. Now the machine is gonna basically track the frame of the object it normally draws a rectangle around it and you'll know where it's going to engrave it before you hit start after it's done framing you'll have an idea of where it's going to engrave it 
At this point, you can move your material or you can reposition your laser head, re-origin and reframe if you want it to engrave somewhere else. But on my end, we're all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just click the start button and see what it looks like. Now that we've completed our project, let's take a look. As you can see, it turned out perfectly. The laser did exactly what I wanted it to do. One of the most important lessons I've learned in laser engraving is that achieving the perfect product often requires time and practice. Each mistake brings you one step closer to mastering the craft. If you're interested in expanding your skills, check out our tutorials on Lightburn and EasyCAD 2 so you can become proficient with multiple laser engraving software. With that in mind, I hope this tutorial helps you with your future engraving projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. I'm Murphy, and this has been Murphy's Law.